I've been testing four different AI powered note taking tools, Fathom, Nota, Otter AI, and Happy Scribe. I had all four of them record the same video call with my friend Josh so I can do an apples to apples comparison of how they stack up. In this video, I'm going to take you on a deep dive walkthrough of Fathom, the tool that I've personally been using the most since the test. We'll look at the features, the interface, the pricing, all that good stuff. If you want a quick overview of all four tools and to find out which one I picked as my favorite overall, you can check out that summary video right here. Now let's jump into it. Now, Fathom is the OG note-taking tool, at least as far as I'm aware. They were one of the first players in this space, and the interface kind of shows its age. It's very simple, a little dated. Um, here, when you log in, you see your calls, organizes it by yesterday, last week. I don't have that many here, but I imagine there would be more if I was, you know, a call-taking machine. Um, there are other tabs up here, team calls, playlists, and alerts. These are all premium uh, team features, which we're not going to get into. Uh, just suffice it to say, there is a team version to Fathom. If you work on a sales team, customer service, or another business situation where you would want multiple people to have access of video calls to evaluate and share notes. But I don't need that. It's just me. Uh, so let's now look at the actual summary itself. Click into the call, and it loads up a video recording so that's kind of cool we actually have access to the call itself and on the timeline i mentioned the little bookmarks or highlights we can see them represented right here below that we have the summary so the meeting purpose to test and compare ai powered meeting note taking tools while discussing various topics including an upcoming kids camp project key takeaways different topics so we talked about AI meeting note-taking tools, the Kids Camp Project, gear and tech, personal anecdotes and reflections. We shot the breeze about our family a little bit. And then next steps. I like this. You have action steps, things that you actually need to do. It pulls it out for you. Something else I like, if you click on any of these... I think it's the last It jumps week to that point in the meeting so you can actually watch the conversation, not just rely on a little AI summary. You could actually see and hear what was said. Uh, you can get the full transcript here. And I like how they have this arranged. It kind of looks like a, a text message thread uh, with the different messages on one side or the other. Likewise, you click here. Anyway, so it does have a decent amount of integration. It jumps right to the, uh, the right spot on the timeline. And let's see if you click plus what happens. Okay, you can create this into an action item. You can highlight it after the fact. So even if you missed something, Fathom has a little tool where you can click and bookmark or highlight something during the call. You can do that after the fact as well. Um, and then click on Ask Fathom. This is a cool little AI tool where you can actually essentially chat with the transcript. Now you could probably do this by copying and pasting the transcript, throwing it into chat GPT and asking for questions and insights about it, but it's nice and convenient that it's right here for you. So let's just test this out real quick. Um, when is kids camp this year? According to the meeting transcript, kids camp this year is scheduled for the last week of June from June 22nd through June 26th. Confirming kids camp dates. Ah, and it gives you a link to that spot calendar. where it gleaned that I answer I think it's the from. last week of June. So that's pretty slick. Um, what else can you do? Right a follow-up thank you email with a summary for Josh and include a joke referencing something we spoke about. 
Hey Josh, thanks for taking the time to chat with me today and help me test out some of these AI meeting assistant tools. I really appreciate you being my guinea pig. Here's to summarize the discussion. Anyway, looking forward to our in-person brainstorming session on May 7th. Uh, I'll be sure to bring my smallest guitar and leave the four suitcases at home. Eh. <laughs> but not not bad. Okay, robot humor versus dad humor. That's another video. Uh, something else I want to highlight over on the lap. No, this is the right side. The right side, it breaks out the annotations, the highlights, so we can jump to that. has a summary here, the attendees. I can choose to send the recording. So I can email the recording. I can link and share this summary page with Josh or anybody else I, I, I want to share it with. Um, here's the annotations. And then questions. It actually identifies uh, things that were framed as a question. Um, that could be helpful to make sure that if you asked a question, that you got an answer for it, or if they asked a question, that you answered it. That's just kind of an interesting, kind of like a secondary summary there. Let's go back to the summary page real quick. Here's a little green box. What does it say? It says, Ask Fathom, advanced AI summaries and AI action items are now free for your first five calls every month. Gift. Try them out below. So we have your general summary, but there are AI advanced summaries or advanced AI summaries. You can actually change the framework it uses to summarize your transcript. I'm not familiar with any of these sales, Sandler, Spiced, Medipic, Medpic, Bant. I don't know what that is, but let's just see what it looks like. There's also AI summaries for like one-on-one -on -one coaching calls or a customer success story, or you can also arrange it chronologically. One thing I'm impressed by while this generates is it was able to take like we bounced back and forth between lots of different ideas, but it consolidated all of those key takeaways scattered throughout the whole conversation into an easy to see uh, topical summary. All right, let's see what this looks like. So we have situation, pain, different pain points, impact, proof follow up and action item tracking, critical events, decision process, economic buyer, solution fit, tech stack, objections, competitors, timeline, next steps, and Q&A. That's, that's actually really nice. So if you were to record a discovery call with a prospect, you could go back and this outlines things that you want to address or follow up on. Uh, that's, that's really helpful. Let's uh, take a look at one more. Let's do a project update. All right, so issues and tickets, and it looks like project by project, you have context, the status, concerns, challenges, and blockers, ideas and explanations, decisions and next steps, and then the current objective. Um, then we have another, here's the kids camp project, context, status, concerns, etc., and then other incidental topics. This is really cool. This is really powerful. You can copy the whole summary here and take it where you want to take it. And you can also translate it into, looks like seven different languages here. Pretty slick. I like this. I like this a lot. So that is Fathom Under the Hood. Like I mentioned earlier, I've been using it consistently since running this test, mostly because of the price point. You can't really be free. If you're curious how it stacks up to the other tools or if one of the others might be a better fit for your workflow, you can watch the rest of the deep dive videos or you can watch the comparison overview video right here.